one thing I'm really excited about this game is the franchise mode. So today I thought I'd start a new franchise with you guys. And this is going to be a little series. If you enjoy the series, check out the playlist link in the description. We're going to be doing more episodes. If you enjoy it, thumbs it up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, but let's get on and name our franchise. All right, so I've gone with Ollie 43's Animals Incorporated. If you guys have a better name, get in the comments section, leave us a suggestion. And I think I can change the name anyway. It's just I'm sat here and I have absolutely no creative skills in coming up with names. So that's what we went with. Anyway, so here we go. We get 800 zoo dollars. I don't actually know what they're called. What are they? What are these actually called? Zoo credits or something? New zoo costs 100 of them. Leaves. Uh, select a biome. Let's go with uh, uh, grassland in Africa. Name the zoo. Uh, okay. Um, Africa One. We might have more than one African zoo, so I'm thinking ahead by calling it Africa One. Achievement unlocked. I don't know if you, you guys can't see this, but it says achievement unlocked franchise zoo. All right. So here we go. Oh, man. This game. Okay. So one thing I'm doing here on the channel at the moment, this is nobody cares apart from me, but one thing I'm doing at the moment is uploading everything in beautiful 4K, 60 FPS, really pushing games to the max. So if you enjoyed that, just uh, just let me know. I like seeing high quality videos on the internet, so why not? So as you can see, we've got some beautiful grass textures here. The sky is gorgeous. The place is lovely. I'm happy. So on the side here, we can see kind of requirements to start us off. So we need a workshop, vet surgery, trade center, staff room, research center, quarantine, keeper hut. Not Nothing too, you know, like uh, dramatic, nothing too stressful at the moment. And then we've got a little challenge here. Adopt uh, exhibit species. So adopt two different exhibit. So that's a good little starting point for us. So, all right, let's do a little pathway into... Wow, is that wood? <gasps> that looks so cool. Okay, so they didn't have this before in the beta, I be don't believe, but man, they've got some really nice new pathways. So I'm going to grab this log one. That looks awesome, man. We're going to have a thickness of seven. Seven. Nice. This looks kind of cool. Although, I have to be honest, it kind of, I mean, it looks good, but that's not really what I'm looking for. Uh, tree bark. Nah, I don't like the look of that. Let's go with, ooh. I see that's fancy. That's more like it. That's what I want to see. Bit of, it's a classy zoo, guys. There we go. Look how I, if I place down paths and then remove them, the grass gets cut. Look at that. That's a really cool touch. All right, nice. Uh, you have to bear with me, by the way. I'm hoping as the series goes on, I'm a lot more capable on <laughs> doing stuff in the zoo. But this game's not even out yet, so you have to excuse me while I learn the game a little bit. Okay, so over here, this is going to be my little staff zone, okay? Uh, so the first thing we need to do is put up some walls. Not these exhibit walls, more like construction walls. So let's go ahead and do that. But yeah, look, architecture, all of this stuff. Oh, this is great. Ah, oh, this is the first time I'm seeing this stuff and there's loads of it. Really cool. What's this, wood? Oh, oh look at that. That's fancy. Very nice. So wooden plank wall, four meter... Yes. I know it's see-through, but I don't think that matters, honestly. So let's just put this here. Okay, I think I've done it. Now, if I've done that correctly, it should be the same when we get to the other end. <laughs> oh, 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 nice. So the reason why I'm doing this, you might be like, Ollie, why on earth are you building walls as the first thing in your zoo? Because, my friend, you need staff buildings, like I mentioned. And the thing with staff buildings... It's not very good to have them seen by uh, the public. So what I'm doing is covering it up with a wall with holes in it. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be enough, but I don't know. Right, there we go. Oh, look, look at that. That's great stuff. And oh, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right, I'm just going to remove these few trees here. Can I not do that? Oh, yeah, I can. Here we go. Costs money to do it, but I'm doing it. Look at that. That's great. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, wait. You can actually have, like, staff-only paths. I should have done that. Oh, what's this? It's like a sparkly type, is it? What are you talking about? It's raining. I thought this was a... <laughs> I thought the weather was going to be hot and sunny all year round. All right. So, yeah, you need some uh, some 
some buildings as we mentioned here. So let's start us off. So we've got $38,000. I played this in the beta and I could not make this work. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if I can actually just, you know, slowly make this work and hopefully get a nice successful little uh, zoo uh, franchise out of it, which would be really nice. So star from small, there we go. It's looking good. So we need a trade center as well. Let's add that in, there we go. Uh, the veterinary thing, here we go. Uh, workshop, we need a small quarantine, which we're gonna put over here. There we go. And the keeper hut. So the keeper hut will be closer to wherever the enclosure is, but for now, this looks pretty good. All right, so there we go. We've done the uh, staff only path and we've done the little kind of, not town or anything like that, but it's kind of a, like a little section for all our staff to go and do their thing. And it's out of sight, which is important. Uh, the other thing I need to do is the power and stuff. So back to facilities and where is the power? Here we go, it's this little uh, transformer thing here. So I'll put that, uh, let's put this over here. And then we also need water. There we go. It's quite dark. Can I have I got a light? I do have a little light. Okay, so that's all the facilities done. Uh, now we need to do maybe uh, some s little buildings here. I gotta say, the, like, honestly, the graphics for this game are so good. Like, look at this kind of glow around, like, the moonlight and the lighting here. It's such a, you know, it's a simulation game, but still, the graphics are beautiful. Right, so one thing we also want to do is some little lights, maybe? Okay, I'm not going to lie, but this actually looks so nice. I haven't even put any animals in this zoo yet. I don't know how long this video has been so far, but we've got to this point and Ollie's not even <laughs> putting anything. But man, this game is so cool. Let's just, can we just appreciate this game for a second? It, like, honestly, it's so nice. All right, I want to put in some benches here. Uh, we shall put in a little, I want to put like a board up, but this is all for enclosures. Tra Monorail? Ah, oh, neat. Couple of, recycling, that's important. Oh, this is so cool. Do not disturb, do not feed. Man, I'm, I'm loving this. We're going to put a little security camera in here as well. Clock them as they come in. <laughs> We're watching you. Don't you get up to no mischief. So one of the challenges to do uh, exhibit species. So let's go to our little animal trading here. Exhibit trading, sorry. And we got to pick two things. So let's go for something pretty simple, I guess. Should we go for what's reasonably priced? We've got the, the uh, snakes. We've got the spiders. All right, I want to go for this. And this. There we go. So we're having two. Nice. And then all we do, this this is pretty simple at this point. Uh, we grab our little path here. Come off it this way. And then at the end, you grab an exhibit here. And we'll put one there. And we'll put one here. On this side. So there you go. So you get like two exhibits, which is kind of cool. And then all you do is you select what animal you want. So we'll put, there we go, we'll move that one in there. And this one will move to here. There we go. Nice. So they both have stuff in. You can even do paths on like each side, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do that. There we go. So you can actually look at it from each angle. See, now that we've done that, we're starting to see like people come in, which is really cool. Uh, I need to hook this up though. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty cool. The path isn't perfect here, but I can fix that while you guys aren't watching. <laughs> uh, so let's just make sure. So the temperature needs to be a bit more humid. So the temperature's fine. We just need to do the humidity. So it's at 70. Wait, I can't remember which we're at. So it needs to go down. Oh no, no, no. It needs to go up to like 80. So there we go. We're just lining up these lines here. 30 is the perfect temperature for this enclosure. There we go. Just a little bit more. There we go. Nice. And you can see it's happy. 
Uh, let's go for this one. So let's go for, I'm just gonna pause it a sec. Get the temperature. So the temperature's fine, needs a little less humid, so 60 or something. So we've got two exhibits, perfectly for each animal, perfectly done for each animal. Uh, I think you can add things for uh, like enrichments, but you need to go to your research center to do that. Uh, okay, so the next thing we need is of course, uh, staff. So we've got people in there, which is good. Okay, so we need some staff. Oh, we need the keeper hut. We better do that. So I've done that. I've got a little enclosure for our little zoo hut, uh, zookeeper hut, so the people can't really see it and they're not distracted by that. So the other thing we need that I forgot, which is pretty important, is uh, the little uh, donation thing. So I'm just going to pop that one here. Pop that there, just pop that here. I don't know how often you need them, but it's good to have. Right, now let's get some stuff and we get some rewards. We get $1,000, uh, which is kind of cool. And we've actually got more to do. So souvenir profits, guest numbers. Okay, that seems pretty easy. All right, let's press play. Zoo stuff. All right, so caretaker, probably only need one at this time. Keeper, probably only need one. Uh, mechanic, probably only need one. Uh, uh, and a vet. There we go. We should be good at that point. Yay. Awesome. So I'm curious how much does it cost to come in? So it costs $3 to come in. Nice. Oh, we're selling stuff. That's awesome. That's so cool. And this thing needs to be moved slightly. <laughs> and now we've got money coming in, which is awesome. Which by at this point in my last video, I think we were like 30 grand in debt and everything looked awful. But now I'm actually really happy with this. Like we've got a nice little, you know, town. We've got a couple of first exhibits. We could do a couple more actually. Let's, let's do more. Uh, low on cash. Ah, uh, I know that. That's fine. Right, I just realized we don't have the money for that anymore. Uh, but we could do a little, a little ex like information board. And there we go. Put some information down about, there we go. And they chuck more money in when they know what they're looking at. So let's do that. Okay, there's one more thing we need for our guests here. And I feel kind of bad that I forgot up to this point. But it is important. And that is a public loo. Oh God, guys, you're going to have to hold it in. It's too expensive. <laughs> oh no. Okay, maybe if we just fast up time here, earn some money. We should start earning money here. I don't know. Yeah, we earn, okay. Yeah, we're earning a little bit of money each month. Little graph here. Show us our profit and loss. All right, so man, I've been busy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave it here, but guys, but let me just show you this last little thing that I've done. And that is opened our very first exhibit. Uh, we've got a couple of pooches here, wild dogs, as they're called, African wild dog, <laughs> literally called uh, African wild dog. Uh, I'm doing some research to get some enrichment uh, for these little guys, but yeah, man, it is it is cute. Wait, that is, uh, hold on a second there. This seems to be uh, hovering a little bit. But yeah, it's really cute, plenty of space couple of trees and obviously the people can uh, come and have a look and see what's going on here it's pretty awesome oh yeah and the last thing I need to do here before I do anything else is add uh, a little bathroom there you go so now everybody can uh, use the facilities <laughs> there we go nice so yeah, let me know what you thought of the first episode. Hit me up with a comment down below and I'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.